for joining us back in. And I was just starting to talk about the how things changed beginning with the survey process. Okay, can can you hear me? We can, and thanks. Uh, for your very time. sorry. I'm I, apparently I'm signed in as Jill, and uh, oh. so um, I'll be I'll be really brief. So. Um, moving is an essential service um, and um, uh, while we can staff uh, you know like you we sent our staff home when, when COVID broke out we were able to send everybody to work virtually that um, but there's no such thing as a virtual move we're gonna have to send people into your home uh, to 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 work the uh, what we are doing virtually is, uh, and, and we've been doing this for about three or four years, and it's prevalent in our industry now, is, is a virtual survey. So um, this has streamlined the process. It's actually it's actually cost effective. It's frankly, it's more cost effective when you can do it in scale. Um, it's been well accept, accepted by the transferees. They like the convenience uh, that we can do. And, and frankly, it's, it's, it's proven to be reliable and accurate. Um, Crews are following CDC guide, uh, CDC and local guidelines when they're in the house. Very simple. It's really mask, frequent hand washing, hand washing. In terms of cost, initially, PPE, if you could find it, was very expensive. As you know, that's that's stabilized. We can now get hand sanitizer and mask virtually any virtually anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, that, but it has slowed down the process of moving a little bit. Um, it's very awkward to uh, to be muzzled when you're working in, a, in pairs, uh, particularly when you're doing physical labor. Uh, and if you happen to be in Atlanta and it's uh, it's hot and it's humid, uh, it's it can be a little uncomfortable. It's a little stifling. So it's slowed the process down. But I do think, from a terms in terms of cost, that that is kind of stabilized, um, and and that cost is not being passed on. And I I really don't expect it to be. Um, Occasionally, um, we get complaints uh, actually that uh, customers won't wear masks, um, and and occasionally the customers will complain that the crews are not wearing masks because they'll go outside. The first thing they'll do is is rip the mask off. Right? They arrive together, they leave together. Um, but for the most part, the transferees have been very very accommodating. Um, I think that those people that are willing to relocate in these times are are, are adventurers to begin with. Um, so um, what, what we have seen uh, is an increase for exclusive use of a van. Uh, what this means is, you know, uh, a, moving, a moving van that's crossing interstate lines generally will have multiple shipments on it. And some people are horrified to the thought that their shipment might be next to somebody else's shipment, so they have asked for exclusive use. We don't, we don't rec that is not considered a best practice for uh, uh, virus avoidance. Uh, but as a carrier, you know, uh, we're happy to provide the service. It costs more. Uh, you know, that's calming down a bit as people are calming down. And, and I think what, as we understand how things spread. Um, I will tell you, demand is down year over year uh, for our industry from the corporate sector. We're seeing anywhere from 30 to 65 percent decreases in demand for from the retail, tech, hospitality aerospace um, interesting enough uh, bio uh, biotechnology is is actually up um, mm -hmm. that's a pleasant surprise um, and as you heard earlier uh, the good news well uh, good news for us is uh, discretionary moving is up uh, the bad news for you all is you have to figure out where exactly they are living <laughs> so um, so we, we have had a, a big demand particularly off the west coast um, and out of the, uh, New York City, uh, San Francisco, um, that that uh, migration was already happening. It's advanced. Wow. So, um, the only other cost segment, you know, um, generally infectious diseases such as you know, like a virus or a flu would not be considered a workman's comp. I can tell you in California, Illinois, and Arkansas, it's now, regardless whether you're a first responder or now, that is now part of the workman's comp uh, uh, world. We don't really know what the impact of that is. I don't, again, I don't anticipate that, that, that you will notice that cost or that that will be directly passed on. Um, there are other states, uh, uh, New Jersey, North Carolina, where that is, where legislation is pending. 
Uh, there are other states that have basically shut it down. Um, uh, probably greater concern in terms of cost is the rapid rise in auto liability insurance. You definitely don't want to spend time hearing about that. Uh, but we're um, uh, social engineering is what the insurance companies are, cause, are calling it is what's driving up insurance settlements, which will drive up trucking cost. Um, but overall, I would say re related to COVID, um, other than, than uh, demand, cost is somewhat stabilized again just as um and you know we're happy to be providing services it it, it it's safe and um and again we're, we're excited that all these people that have moved somewhere um maybe they're going to move back so i mean we're we're busy doing things and if and if you want to if you want to uh, live where you work uh let us know we'll take you there that's awesome larry thank you for jumping in